back to back in the final season with Preston at the helm? Or will it be the upstart Lancers grabbing their first title in program history? It's a sold out crowd here at the Burridge Gym. The final day of the OUA season. Crowd is revved up and ready to go and so are these two teams who are riding high. The McMaster Marauders coming off a win in straight sets over the Windsor Lant or the York Lions. And it's the Lancers knocking off the UFT Varsity Blues in their semifinal match. It's never easy coming into the Burridge Gymnasium and taking down the Marauders and especially so this season, 18 and two on the season for Preston's McMaster team. But the Lancers are playing with a lot of confidence right now, led by their head coach, James Gravel, who was just named the OUA Coach of the Year. As we mentioned, it would be the first OUA title in Windsor's history. It would be the 12th Forsyth Cup for the McMaster Marauders. Matthew Davison on the call, pleased to be bringing you this match from beautiful Hamilton, Ontario on CBC Sports and OUA.TV. And it should be a good one. These two teams met last year in the playoffs and it was the McMaster Marauders taking a close five set match over the Windsor Lancers, but Windsor showed incredible promise in that match and they took a lot of what they learned in that match and applied it to this season where they went 15 and five. This is the farthest they've been in program history. Revenge and turning the fate is on the minds of the Lancers. Many are counting them out, but they have tremendous belief. On the other side, it is the Marauders who always seem to be dressing an all-star cast of characters. Robbie Fujisawa, the all-star setter, who in the 2021-2022 season was a OUA West all-rookie member. Matthew Ragosi, the libero, who can seemingly get every ball back up. Benjamin K Kirkhoff, another star libero as well, who is named a second team all-star this past season. And Mateus Vladarski, who is playing in what will be one of his last matches ever. Here at the Burridge Gymnasium, one of the seniors on this McMaster Marauder squad. And he said, plain and simple, I want to be a three-time OUA champion tonight. Brendan Mills, a great outside hitter as well, a reliable one. And depth is going to be important tonight against the Windsor Lancers. Tyler Pavlik, a great serving middle who joined the Marauders back in 2018 and wants to go and win a title again. Sam Cooper, who was banged up in the last two regular season games, and Dave Preston said, we're gonna wait until he's fully, fully healthy because there's no limiting Sam Cooper. He always brings it on a night-to-night -night basis. And then it's the Glavica Poland native, Wojciech Kry, who was named a second team All-Star last this season and is a big piece in this Marauder offense. The ultimate stage in Ontario volleyball at the university level. A moment many of these young players have dreamt about their entire lives playing in front of a jam-packed building where everything is at stake. Both these teams will be playing right here next weekend in the U Sports Final Eight. They're certainly not looking past this one. Both these teams have their eyes set on this matchup tonight. The Forsyth Cup live from the Burridge Gymnasium is just about set to begin. On the opening serve, Gustavo Shakira finds the net and the home side draws first blood. Windsor is a real good serving team. They're first in the OUA in service aces per set. They average 
but 1.64 per set. McMaster not far behind them though, averaging 1.58 through the regular season. Fujisawa, the set. Cry, and that's gonna be finished off there. That's Sam Cooper getting involved early in the home squad. Up a couple. The Marauders, the perennial powerhouse, 10 titles since 2007. They're looking for their 12th all-time tonight. And there's the response, Luca Nastase, who started 17 of 18 matches for the Winter Lancers this season, was named a second team All-Star. He's a real good player. He was with the Pac-Man team before he joined the Windsor Lancers and anyone who comes from the Pac-Man program, great fundamentals. Oh, and played early there. Brendan Mills taps it over. And Mills is gonna be an important piece to this offense when maybe the big time players like a Sam Cooper gonna be shut down by the Windsor Lancers defense. The McMaster Marauders really rely on the depth and Brendan Mills is such an effective and reliable hitter. As the Lancers pick up another point, as that serve goes out of bounds, and to the line will be Luca Nastase. Oakville, Ontario native. This place is loud as Big time kill there, second one for Sam Cooper. And that is a beautiful thing to watch. Perfect setup by Fujisawa. And if you're the Lancers, you don't want McMaster Marauders to build up too big of a lead early on. Floated over. And in the middle. A good time finish there from number 16, Stephen Carey, who has been a big addition to the Windsor Lancers this year. Of course, Dami Alalad, who was a two-time All-Star and team MVP. He has graduated since last year, but James Gravel brings over Stephen Carey, and he's really fit into that role in the middle very well. Good block there, denying Sam Cooper. But not being denied will be Brendan Mills who gets involved here. And the lead is five to three for the home side. This will be Sam Cooper sending the serve over. Difficult serve. Fujisawa. Of Ladarski. The Lancers get that one up, and that's going to be a net violation, and the Marauders will lose that point. So, five to four, the Lancers are inching back in this one. Jump by Carey to dig that one out for Windsor, but finished off. Boy, Tech Cry getting involved. Cry, who started all 20 regular seasons, season games for the McMaster Marauders, came over in 2019 from Poland, where he played for a club that was touring through Hamilton, Ontario, and Toronto, and actually played in this very gym. And Really fell in love with this part of the part of the world and eventually came over to play for the Marauders. As this Windsor cheering section is loud. And they're gonna level things up here. It'll be six to five. An evenly matched start to this one in the Forsyth Cup between the 18 and 2. 
McMaster Marauders in the 15 and 5 Windsor Lancers. Puchasawa looking for Cooper or Pavlik rather. And finished off there. It's Mateus Vladarski, the Ottawa Ontario native. Lodarski, a first team all star, the only first teamer on McMaster this season. Also won the Dale Ivanovsko Award of Merit. As McMaster's going to pick up another point here as the Lancers just couldn't get to that ball. Eight to five, Marauders in front. Lateus Lodarski says no. Lodarski had 21 blocks through the regular season and a big one here to put his team in front by four. Nine to five, Marauders in front. Fujisawa on the serve. And couldn't handle that one. Chase Bridges Hunter will pick up the kill. So nine to six, McMaster is in front. As Gustavo Siqueira, the Sao Paulo, Brazil native, will head to the line. Was named a second team all-star this year. Oh, and that one's just tipped home by Luca Nastase. Off the sea ball and Windsor clawing back in this opener. Back to serve, Sakiara. Fujisawa. Oh, brought down, Sam Cooper, the kill. Back and forth we go. Sam Cooper picking up his second kill. Such an important piece. Preston said when bringing him back, he says this isn't a player he can limit. He's going to be in the lineup. He's going to be a full go. He's already making a huge impact in this one. Floated over. Free ball here for the Lancers. Reverse set. Oh, and brought home. Luca Nastase again. Already his fourth kill. He's bringing his team back in this one. 10-8. Heavy serve. Ujisawa right into the block. But the Lancers able to neutralize the power of Sam Cooper. And they inch closer to tying this one up as they send Chase Bridges Hunter out to serve. Bridges Hunter, a native of Hawaii. Ujisawa, and brought home! Sam Cooper again. Putting his team back up by two. And the Hamilton, Ontario native. Already making a big time impact. Cooper set the school's record for vertical leap, 12 feet, Sam Cooper. Oh, and here he rises up to send that one back. Cooper averages just over three kills per set, 3.18. Also a great server as well, had 20 service aces through the regular season, was named to the Canada senior team for Volleyball League Nations in 2022. Oh, big time play there on the block. And that's gonna be a big factor in this one is, is the blocking game. McMaster number one in the OUA in blocks and Ravel is aware of that. He just has communicated to his team to just 
stick to your guns and don't let it frustrate you. As Vladarski draws the contact. And just like that, it's a 14 to nine advantage. Four straight points for the home side. First set, timeout Windsor. the top the final year for head coach Dave Preston 21 seasons behind the McMaster Marauder bench and what could be a dream final ride for Preston and the Marauders of course they're hosting the men's national championships in just a week's time here at the Burridge gym and Preston has put so many years into this program and so many titles under his belt. A great developer as well of talent in this country. How sweet would it be to capture one more title on the back-to-back -back championships and capture that first national championship in program history in just a week's time. is at developing talent over Preston's reign at McMaster. He's produced 53 All-Stars as Brendan Mills brings that one down. 53 All-Stars, 15 All-Canadian, six OUA Rookies of the Year, and two U-Sport Rookies of the Year as well. In his 21 seasons behind the McMaster bench, seven-time OUA Coach of the Year and three-time National Coach of the Year. As the Lancers look to go to work out of that timeout, Brendan Mills, the service error. Fujisawa for Mills! He paints the line. Big time blast from Brendan Mills. Robbie Fujisawa. One of the best setters in the conference. As it's going to be Sam Cooper back to serve. And that violation there, Lancers point. Mentioned off the top, this is a rematch of last year's OUA quarterfinals where the McMaster Marauders took that one in the fifth set, 15 to 11. James Gravel says his team has not forgotten about that day and they're definitely using it as motivation for tonight's matchup as another kill there for Brendan Mills. Bell just said it was the team's goal this year to face them further along in the tournament instead of in the quarterfinals, in the semis, or the finals. And they did just that. Lancers, of course, coming into this tournament as the two seed. And everything has ran through their building. A brand new facility, by the way. A beautiful facility down in Windsor. Of course, they won their two prior home games to advance to this point. The Toldo Lancer Center, the new recreation center in Windsor. Speaking with some of the players and head coach James Gravel, it's been much appreciated playing in a new facility 
Ujisawaf, and that one just floated over. Great dig out there by Steven Ab Abrams. And that's gonna be McMaster point there. But Steven Abrams, one of the big leaders, an important veteran for the Windsor Lancers. As a Team Canada junior back in 2020, and first ever player in Windsor Lancer program history to be selected to the Team Canada junior team. And that one's just gonna be floated out of bounds by Chase Bridges Hunter. And the Marauders are inching closer to a first set win here. And they are tough to beat when they take that opening set. Fujisawa back to serve. Nice to say, oh, great play by Fujisawa to send that one back. Ladarski, oh, nearly dug out, but too much heat from Mateus Ladarski. As the Marauders are the first to reach 20 points here, they lead 20 to 13 as James Gravel calls his second timeout. Ladarski, also their head coach, Dave Preston, who we've mentioned, and on the side of the Marauders, they want to capture their first ever Forsyth Cup in program history in the program that James Gravel has been able to build with the Windsor Lancers. Some of the players said Windsor didn't used to be a destination for players. It was real, uh, really just a land of misfit players who James Gravel was able to coach up and become effective players as Brendan Mills, another big time play as he cheers on the crowd. There he is on the block, but Gravel has really built something special and what he's been able to do with this team, best ever season. Of course, they captured an OUA bronze a couple years ago. Fujisawa digs that one out. kept alive with the Marauders inching closer to picking up this first set just floated over there by Tyler Pavlik the 6'10 middle the Fujisawa will serve again oh rejected Again, Brendan Mills is there. And the Marauders take the 23 to 13 lead. Brendan Mills rising up. The 6'5 outside hitter playing in his hometown and getting his fans involved as well. Long set, oh! What a dig out there by Albert. Oh! Sent back, Tyler Pavlik. And it's set point, Marauders. As they inch closer to taking this opening set. On the serve is Fujisawa. It'll have just a bit too much air under it. the Marauders will look to capture the first set on their opponent's serve. This will be Gustavo Sequeira. Heavy serve, and the Marauders take the first set 
in the Forsyth Cup. 25 to 14 over the Windsor Lancers. They really took away in the latter part, winning eight of the last nine points. And they go up one to nothing in the Forsyth Cup on CBC Sports. We welcome you back inside the Burge Gymnasium, just about set for set number two here of the Forsyth Cup between the McMaster Marauders and the Windsor Lancers. It was the Marauders who took that opening set by a score of 25 to 14, winning eight of the last nine points. They draw first blood here. The always dangerous and seemingly perennial powerhouses and the McMaster Marauders, as we mentioned, looking for their 11th title since, since 2007. Windsor Lancers looking for their first title in program history and it's a bit of an ugly start for the Windsor Lancers in the preseason. They went three and five and Ravel said it took some time for them to integrate some of their new players. We mentioned some of those players, Zach Albert, and Stephen Carey, who replaced key veterans who graduated last year, Dami Alalade and Steve Sean Spencer. But the two players really were accepted by their teammates quickly, and it was all because of the hard work that they put in and the work that they put in every day at practice. And slowly but surely, this Windsor Lancers team improved and the biggest area of improvement Ravel has said is on the block defense and I think that's one area of improvement that they might look to in this second set. McMaster Marauders, of course, they're number one in the OUA when it comes to blocking, but Winter Lancers, I think, have to be a little bit better here in this second set in that regard. They want to take down the champs and dethrow them here in the Forsyth Cup from the Burridge Gymnasium in Hamilton, Ontario. And a high first ball. What a job there by Ragosi Fujisawa. And then Cooper to send over the free ball. Overcooked it. And the first point of this opening, or the second set, will go to the Lancers. The kill by Albert. Drawn the contact of Ladarski on that play. Dave Preston having a conversation. It looks like we're ready for the serve. And this will come from Luca Nastase, who is part of the Pac-Man 18U club. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Has to say a real important piece named a second team all-star this past season. And in the win against U of T in the semifinals, 
That's to say, really led the way. 14 digs, 16 and a half points, 12 kills and two solo blocks, and also a force at the service line as well. He was sixth in the OUA in total service aces, but that one just sent over there. It's gonna be a kill from Tyler Pavlik. floated over into an empty area and the star libero Stephen Ab Abrams couldn't get the pancake and that one's gonna sail out of bounds. Real good crowd on hand here at the Burridge Gym. Sold out crowd, capacity. Over 2,000 volleyball fans we need to see who's crown champ here in the OUA. Kept alive there by Cry. And sent back down. Brendan Mills was there after the great dig out by Luca Nastase. Trying to go to work was Gustavo Sakara, but once again, Brendan Mills on the rejection. Real high toss on the serve, and great serve it was. Right into the block, and can't do anything with it. Too strong again is that McMaster block who led the OUA in that regard, and this time it's Brendan Mills. Our apologies, Wojtek Cry getting the solo block, and attacking here by Zach Albert. another block that just really dictating from that area of the court. That time they went for Luca Nas to say. And once again, the McMaster Marauders are able to close in transition and stop that opportunity. That ball is gonna find the net and the, the Lancers are gonna climb their way back into this set. Errors from the other side would certainly help a lot. And they get it there. This offense is real good for the Windsor Lancers. Two players in the top 15 when it comes to kills per set. Zach Albert, number eight. Nas to say is 14. But Albert's their main weapon, and McMaster's done a good job against him tonight. He's Yet to pick up a kill in tonight's action. We mentioned it, Windsor has a lot of depth as well. And that one's finished off. As the Windsor Lancers drop another point there. Will be ruled an attacking error by Zach Albert. Now for a moment, he might be getting involved. The Brampton, Ontario native who was third in the OUA when it came to service aces per set. We mentioned his ability to pick up the kills as well. Oh, what a play by Matthew Ragosi to keep that one up, but that one's gonna be one at the net. Anthony Dejer Alamo was there for the Windsor Lancers and that'll send him to the line. Girolamo, who, whose first love was basketball and baseball in the summer, but his dad, Jerry, was a real good coach. And he recommended that he and his friend, Andrew Jones, who played a bit for the Guelph Griffins, try out for this beach volleyball tournament. This was back when De Girolamo was about 13. Jones and Deidre Alamo were cut from the baseball team as dad Jerry Deidre Alamo recommended they try out for that beach competition. They ended up winning it. And Anthony said since that moment he knew volleyball was his sport. He went on to play with the Storm, be coached by his dad. He said that was an interesting relationship. He, of course his dad was hardest on him and 
There are moments when Mr. Alamo says, you know, I need you to be dad right now. There's moments when I need you to be coach right now. And he still sends a lot of his video clips to his dad to get reviewed and get his analysis as we're going to get a net violation here. It was a close, close first set, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Or a close start to the first set, meant to say. And that's exactly what we're seeing here in the second. Eight to six, Marauders in front in the Forsyth Cup. Vlavdarski goes to work and picks up the kill. Mateus Vladarski has been a big factor in this one. Picking up his fifth kill. Three Marauders with five kills so far in this matchup. The team leader for the Lancers is an to say with three. Carey and Shakira have two as well, so it's really been the Marauders dominating the block game and on the attack as well. As this will be Stephen Carey, the Ottawa, Ontario native. First year with the Marauders, but Gravel says he has a great solid understanding of the game. A powerful jumper as well as Brendan Mills sends that one back with authority. And this will be Vlodarski on to serve once more. Great serve there. Abrams the first touch and Windsor Point. Great job by them to regroup after that big time serve from Lodarski. It's going to be a kill for Nas to say is fourth of this match. Here he is to serve. Oh, effective there. But they're going to rule a violation. Not for a moment. A little creativity at the net from Sam Cooper. They're going to rule it an attacking error. And Nas to say will stay on to serve. Ujisawa. And too much heat from Sam Cooper. Cooper first noticed by head coach Dave Preston. Before he was in, even in high school at the Mountain Athletic Club, Preston said he remembers seeing a gangly young man with pure athleticism. And then when he went over to play high school ball with the Hamilton District High School and where he eventually won a bronze medal, Preston went to a lot of his games and it was a pretty easy choice when Sam Cooper was picking options for university. Preston, someone who will make it known if you want someone as a recruit. And that certainly was the case for Sam Cooper, who's been such an effective player for this McMaster squad. As it's another kill from Brendan Mills, who's fifth. And it's a 13 to nine advantage for the McMaster Marauders as the first timeout of the second set will be called by James Gravel and the Windsor Lancers as the McMaster Marauders have reeled off three consecutive points and they lead 13 to nine here in this second set. As you see, Wojtek cry on the Marauders side, big number 14, 610. You mentioned it, hailing from Lewica, Poland. Preston described the signing at the time as, as groundbreaking. Coming over from Poland and joining the McMaster squad and playing in what will be one of his last matches as the Marauder here at the Burris Gymnasium. On the Lancers side, they gotta figure things out. It was never gonna be an easy game against the Marauders and Ravel knew that coming in. He 
He said his, his team is embracing the challenge. The Lancers have made it further than any team in program history prior. And he said this is really gravy. And we're playing with house money at this point. But clearly tremendous, tremendous motivation to capture this first OUA title in their program's history. Now as Nasta say, it will be sent back over by Fujisawa. And back at the net, once again, Brendan Mills, who has been the star of this one. Having such an effective start with the blocks and also on the attacks as well. As that'll be an ace from Tyler Pavlik, who is the star server for the McMaster Marauders. Unable to do anything with that. Pavlik was named a second team all-star this year, fourth in the OUA when it came to service aces per set. It's just gonna flow it over. And back to back aces for Tyler Pavlik. And it's a 16 to nine advantage. And just like that, it's gonna be a timeout called by the Windsor Lancers. 16 to nine, they trail here in this second set. Two timeouts in quick order. Here for James Gravel as he does not like what he sees, but this McMaster Marauders side is playing so well. Very effective hitting percentage, and for the Lancers, they fell behind in their last game against U of T. They're down 0 1, and they First set, they dropped it, 27-25, and then they went down 0-5 in the second set, the Lancers did against UFT. Gravel called the timeout, and they won consec five consecutive points and won that second set, 25-16, to and would take the two next sets as well over the Varsity Blues. So this is a team that can come back from deficits. Gravel said he was very impressed with how his team dealt with the adversity against the Varsity Blues. and. Now the first set did not deflate his group and it actually helped focus and redefine the three sets that came afterwards. So 16 to 9, they're down in this second set, but out of the timeout, they'll look to get back on the board. And they do with Zach Albert picking up his first kill of the night and getting him going will be big. Albert in his first year with the Windsor Lancers. Did not play since playing with Fanshawe in the 2018-19 season. In that season, his squad went 18-0, 3-0 in the CCAA, which is the college championship. He's named a first-team All-Star, a team-high 10 kills in the championship game, which was a record number of aces in a playoff game. So he's someone who brings a lot of championship ped pedigree to this Windsor Lancers team who said head coach Gravel said that was invaluable to this squad as Fujisawa gets involved and dialing it up here in the second set. The Lancers increasing their lead to eight as Robbie Fujisawa gets the block there and Fujisawa had 19 blocks in 20 games in the Regular season, gets his first of the night here. Brendan Mills on the service error. And this will be Stephen Carey, the Ottawa, Ontario native to serve for the Lancers. Trying to send that one over with Shakira, and then there's Deezer Alamo. A big point there for the Lancers as they look to pick up some momentum here in the second set. Deidre Alamo, the Newmarket, Ontario native, a 
first team all-star for the Lancers this year. Fujisawa, and poor set there. And the Lancers, back-to-back -back points for them. Make it three straight points. As they'll send Stephen Carey back to serve. Fujisawa the set. See ball on a big time blast. Brendan Mills again. Brendan Mills had a team high 16 kills in the first playoff match and really set the tone against TMU. 16 against TMU and then eight kills against the York Lions in the semis. Sam Cooper's ball finds the net, so important points here for the Lancers is they don't want this set to get away from them. It's still certainly within reach here. 19 to 14 they trail and they'll have their big time player on to serve with Anthony DiGirolamo. Lodarski gets through the block. Too much power from the Ottawa, Ontario native as he finds the seam. Three bodies there, but none able to take on the impact of Mateusz Lodarski, the 6'9 six six outside hitter. So 20 to 14, Marauders in front here in the second set. They took the first set as well, which just floated over. And battle for it up the net. Lodarski sends that one back for McMaster. Couple opportunities there for Sakara, but the McMaster block says no. Oh, Lodarski! A big time kill! And the Marauders go up seven. Here in this second set, 21 to 14. Back-to-back -back kills for Mateusz Lodarski. And it's 21 to 14. This is Brendan Mills. And this firing there. That was Luca Nastase who has led the Lancers in blocks tonight. Unable to find that one as he looks to motivate his teammates and says this isn't over here, but certainly looking bleak as Brendan Mills will serve it again. Our apologies, that's Peter Agosi in the, the action. As that'll be ruled, McMaster point. Another attacking error for Luca Nastase, and it's the Marauders within two points here in the second set. Peter Agosi, the Toronto, Ontario native, who played his high school ball with the Pac-Man Club Tier 1 club. He won six national titles. And the serving specialist here for the Marauders. Big time hit there from Bridges Hunter. But the Marauders recover. And that one's going to sail out of bounds. As the Lancers refuse to say die here in the second set. Brendan Mills on the attacking error. And this will be Gustavo Sequeira, the Sao Paulo, Brazil native, who against UFT had 15 points, 11 kills, and eight digs. But that's going to set up set point here for the McMaster Marauders off the service error. And it'll be Robbie Fujisawa on to serve for the home side. Set point. And the Lancers fight off one. Fujisawa doesn't understand the call, but now he'll go over to discuss it here with the official.
and communicate the message back to his head coach and James Preston, or Dave Preston rather. As Mr. Chase Bridges Hunter is now able to serve here. Down set point. Good serve. Puchasawa! And Tyler Pavlik brings the Marauders to within one set of capturing back-to-back -back Forsyth Cups as they take the second set, 25 to 16, and go up two sets to none. The final bleak blast from Tyler Pavlik, the 6'10", Oakville native. Third set coming up right after this, the Marauders taking the first two sets here at the Burrage Gymnasium in the Forsyth Cup on CBC Sports and OUA.TV. And welcome back inside the Burridge Gymnasium on the campuses of McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. It's the Forsyth Cup between the McMaster Marauders and the Windsor Lancers. McMaster Marauders taking the first two sets of this one. 25 to 14 in the first, 25 to 16 in the second. And they're just one set away of going back to back in the final season of that man, Dave Preston's career here behind the bench of the McMaster Marauders. Matthew Davison along for the call here on CBC Sports and OUA TV. A privilege to be bringing you the action between the two best in the province. Take a look at some of the stats. It's a 404 hitting percentage for the McMaster Marauders for the Windsor Lancers. They're in the negatives. Negative 0.56, so not where they want to be. A Lancer team that's been hitting the ball around 230 through the playoffs compared to the Marauders who have been effective hitting the ball all playoffs long. They're first among OUA playoff teams with 418 hitting percentage. That's really been the story of this one is that Windsor Lancers just unable to do anything on their attacks and a lot of errors, 16 attack errors compared to McMaster's six through the first couple of sets as Brendan Mills 
with yet another kill, and he has been really the star for the McMaster Marauders. 10 kills already for him through two sets. Go along with six blocks. 14 and a half total points for Brendan Mills, the London, Ontario native. He was a invitee to the U21 Canadian men's team that represented Canada in the Pan Ams that took place in Cuba. Team Canada placing third. Brings a lot of championship pedigree and or at least playing in those big time games. Has a lot of experience with this McMaster Marauders. Not as if they needed any, as we mentioned it. Back-to-back -back appearances in the title game, and last year, of course, they captured their 12th or 11th Forsyth Cup. Other statistics that really stood out through two sets has been the service aces as well. McMaster with three, Windsor Lancers with zero. And of course, the blocking advantage for the McMaster Marauders. We were wondering about that all week long. How with this incredibly good blocking McMaster Marauder team face up against the Windsor Lancers. And so far, it's been all Marauders. 10 total blocks for McMaster compared to just one for the Lancers. But here's Windsor with the early advantage, three to two in this third set. A long road back for Windsor as Anthony Dijeralamo sir, finds the net. So this will be Sam Cooper. Apologies, Pavlik on to serve for the Marauders. And able to finish that one off for the Marauders. It'll be an attacking error from Luca Nastase. And Pavlik will stay on to serve here for McMaster. Pavlik, the Oakville, Ontario native, joined the Marauders back in 2018. last weekend of the regular season as motivation heading towards the playoffs. They were all undefeated all year long and then they head down the QEW to face the TMU Bulls and Varsity Blues and then they're swept in the first game against TMU. Losing the straights and then the next night, apologies, uh, two nights later on the Sunday, they're losing four sets to the Varsity Blues. after having that perfect season all the way to that point, 18-0. They lose back-to-back -back games, and that's exactly the opposite time that you want to be running into problems, but Pavlik and others have really said that they used that weekend as motivation heading into the playoffs, and since that moment, they've reeled off back-to-back -back wins against the TNU Bulls in the quarters, and then the York Lions in the semis. Only needing seven sets to do so. Lancers not going down without a fight. Down two sets and now down six to five here in the third. As they're on to serve, this will be Anthony Ivanovsky. Who has a real relationship with Riley Parker. They've been great friends since the two are four years old. And Ivanov Ivanovsky says he wasn't really interested in volleyball until Riley said he should come out. Parker says that in grade seven, Ivanovsky was like 6'2", and I remember saying to him, dude, you can definitely play. And since that moment, he's really been on the radar 
Our head coach James Gravel, of course, a Windsor native, and has been a big piece to this Windsor Lancers team that has put together their best season in franchise history, program history rather. Is it's an eight to five advantage here for McMaster as they'll send back their big time star Sam Cooper, who was out in those two final regular season games against TMU and against the Varsity Blues. And his first game back, he certainly made an impact, but somewhere that he struggled was on his serve. It's just zero service aces against TMU, go along with six errors, but then the next night, Came away with four service aces and six errors, so continual improvement for Sam Cooper, and he's been good in this one against the Windsor Lancers, as that one sent back. Chase Bridges Hunter and the Lancers playing well in this third set. The combination between Deezer Alamo and Chase Bridges Hunter, who Windsor announcer Andrew Papadopoulos calls the High-flying Hawaiian, flying high on that occasion. And these are big points here in the third. Windsor has done well early in these sets, but then it's just the Marauders who come away through the midway part. That's been the story of the first two sets. Let's see what happens here in the third. These are Alamo going to work. Zach Albert, too much to handle. And Zach Albert is someone with a real live arm out there for the Lancers, and he led them through the regular season, averaging over three kills per set, 3.21. Top 10 in the OUA when it came to points per set as well. He was named a first-team All-Star. Getting Albert involved in this offense is gonna be key heading down the stretch if you're the Lancers. Lodarski painting the corner. Mateusz Wodarski gets involved here in the third, and the fans here at the Burrs Gymnasium love it. See a great sign of the emphatic Robbie Fujisawa on that great head cutout. The fans are involved here at the Burrs Gymnasium. Fujisawa, and missing that little tip over there was Mateusz Wodarski. It was a tough. Tough play, a bit of an awkward sequence there for the McMaster Marauders. So the Lancers inching closer here in this third. Oh, that one's brought down. A big time blast. Once again, it's Brendan Mills. 11 kills for Brendan Mills. And it's 11 to nine advantage here for the home side. Blodarski, heavy serve. Dug out there by Albert. And McMaster Marauder ball as Gustavo Sequeira with the attacking error. And Vlodarski will go back to work on the serve. Vlodarski, senior player for this McMaster Marauder team, who is a published science author. The first ever student athlete to be accepted into the Masters of Science Biochem program. And they're able to win another point off his serve, but Vlodarski, a real star on and off the court. Here is the McMaster Marauders really looking to break through here in this third set. Three consecutive points for them, but that'll stop it. Service error there for Vlodarski. And this is a real important serve for Anthony Dejer Alamo, who is the only holdover from that Windsor Lancer team that qualified for the U Sports Final Eight back in the 2018-19 season. That's a real good serve from him. Fujisawa. Odarski! Again! 
And the Lancers go up for Mateusz Wodarski, making a real big impact here in this third set. As he brings on his teammates, packed house here at the Bird's Gym. As that one will go out of bounds there for Tyler Pavlik. Who had back-to-back -back aces back in that second set, a big part of why the Marauders were able to pull away. Here it's 14 to 11. The closest of all the three sets tonight. As that one is just gonna go out of bounds for the service error from Gustavo Sequeira. Marauders won the first set 25 to 14, took the second 25 to 16. Here it's 15 to 11 for the Marauders. That serve's gonna go out of bounds for Brendan Mills. And it'll be Anthony Ivanovsky. Who we mentioned has been on Gravel's radar since he was about 13 years old. And the Windsor native having a real good season for his hometown club, Bujasawa. The top set, Cooper sent it over. And able to draw the contact there, Luca Nastase. Nastase has been the MVP for the Lancers. Six kills to go along with one block. Six and a half total points for Nastase as Anthony Ivanovsky will stay at the line. On to serve, Fujisawa brought down. That's why Tech cry. Boy, Tech Cry, the Glavica Poland native, puts his team up three here in this third set. As Sam Cooper will come on to serve. If Dover kept alive nearly. The last touch will go to Zach Albert, who will pick up the kill. Albert now up to six kills after a bit of a slow start for him. The Brampton, Ontario native, whose sister Janelle also played on the Fanshawe team while he was there. As Sam Cooper, another blast. But Albert says his sister was real important in developing his own career as they would push each other quite often, but also ask each other for a lot of advice, oftentimes, and came back to play for the Windsor Lancers after having a conversation with James Gravel, and hadn't played since that 2019 season, but Gravel says he stayed in great shape and had no issue bringing him back. Albert, great job by Ragosi to bring that one back up. Albert will try again, a little floater over. Cooper, the set, Ladarski the blast! My goodness, Mateusz Ladarski is taking over in this third set. As the McMaster Marauders can taste victory here, inching closer. To back-to-back -back Forsyth Cup wins, seven points away now. Or go see the serve. And able to be brought down there was Chase Bridges Hunter picking up the kill. Bridges Hunter with three kills for the Lancers and being a real good player in his second year in the OUA. Averaging just under one block per set. Third best in the OUA. Fifth in the OUA when it comes to block assists. And has 81 kills in 17 regular season games. As Marauders will have to send over a free ball here. Going to work, Albert again. And Zach Albert gets the Lancers within two here. 
Zach Albert, the Brampton, Ontario native. As that one is gonna be an error. And the crowd goes crazy here in the Burridge gym. Albert can't find the court in Fujisawa. We'll go back to serve, 19 to 16, Marauders in front. And that one will find the line. A big time blast from Chase Bridges Hunter. And two kills in quick order for Bridges Hunter. And more importantly, they've come right after the McMaster Marauders pick up the point. And Bridges Hunter says, has the response and back to back occasion. And strong the contact there will, will be Brendan Mills. And the Marauders, first one to 20 here in this third set. Something of note is that Ravel utilized both timeouts in the two previous sets, but he's been yet to utilize his timeout here in the third. Reverse set, that was nice to say. Cooper, blast! Oh, Sam Cooper! And that's a big time point. As the home side goes up four points here in this third set, four points away from the Forsyth Cup. And there comes the timeout from James Gravel and the Windsor Lancers as the McMaster Marauders reeling off back-to-back -back points, winning three of the last four. And they're ahead, 21 to 17. James Gravel looking to Get his team back into this one. And for the Marauders, it's all about closing it out. A position this team is very used to doing, of course, capturing the Forsyth Cup last year. And Preston is one of the more experienced coaches in U Sports, so. Four points away from victory as the Lancers try and come out of this timeout with a game plan to respond to what has been a great third set from both these sides, but Mateus Wladarski especially has been real good in this third. So it'll be Maxime Graton to serve for McMaster. Four points away from back-to-back -back Forsyth Cup. High toss, heavy serve. Kept up by Albert. Oh, and draw on the contact there, Ivanovsky. An important point for Windsor. And this will be Dejer Alamo. Few players you want the ball to be in the hands of than Dejer Alamo, an important veteran for the Lancers, as we mentioned, the only holdover from that team that qualified for the U Sports Final Eight a few seasons ago. And there is Ivanovsky again. Anthony Ivanovsky able to make that point quite quick and an important one as they inch close here, here in the third, 21 to 19. Fujisawa, tough ball, free ball here for the Lancers. Important points here. And once again, it's Ivanovsky. As the Windsor Lancers refusing to quit here. They've reeled off three consecutive points from 21 to 17. It's 21 to 20, a one point deficit here for the Lancers. After that timeout called by James Gravel, going to be a timeout called by head coach Dave Preston. As this third set is really coming down to the wire. So much experience behind both of these benches. 
James Gravel joining the Windsor Lancers back in 2013. Beforehand, he was a player with the Lancers, spent two years in assistant before taking over the head coaching position. Dave Preston is 21st season behind the bench. 11 OUA titles for Preston. Could it be 12 today? Or will it be the first for Gravel and the first in program history? for the Windsor Lancers. Anthony DiGirolamo. The team's key veteran on to serve in the biggest of moments. Fujisawa, Cooper into the block. Back for Cooper, a little floater over. Nice to say, kept alive by Gratton. Fujisawa, Cooper bringing it down. And the Marauders are within three. Sam Cooper cannot be stopped. But how about that perfect pass from Robbie Fujisawa? And few people you'd want at the line more than Tyler Pavlik, second in the OUA in service aces. Nice to say into the block. They'll work it over to him again. And this time, he's able to get the kill. Nas say has been really the primary weapon for the Windsor Lancers in this matchup. Seven kills. Time for the team lead with Zach Albert. Gustavo Sequeira, the Sao Paulo, Brazil native, on to serve for the Windsor Lancers. Soon Cooper into the block, but it's out of bounds. And the Marauders are within two points of their 12th Forsyth Cup. And now into the action, it's going to be Thomas Williams as James Gravel is going to call his final timeout of this third quarter. 23 to 21, the closest of all three sets today. The Lancers fell to the Marauders in the opening two sets, 25 to 14, 25 to 16, but here in the third, it has been back and forth. But the Marauders can smell victory here, just two points away as Dave Preston draws something up for his squad. This place is on edge. Waiting to celebrate what might be back-to-back -back championships. Just about set for crucial, cru crucial points. This is Thomas Williams, the Oakville, Ontario native. Albert the first touch. Nas to say into the block. We're going to set up Albert. Tipped over at the net. Tough ball, and it's going to fall. And it's match point, championship point for the Marauders. Williams, who came off the bench his first two years, then missed the entire 21 22 season with injury. He doubted if he'd ever play volleyball at this level again, and now he has a chance on the service area to capture a back-to-back -back Forsyth Cup for the Marauders. Match point. Fujisawa, Cooper, kept alive by Cry. Oh, and there it is! The McMaster Marauders are gonna go back-to-back. -back. Your 2023 Forsyth Cup champions, the McMaster Marauders and the dream final season for Dave Preston continues. The final ball for Thomas Williams. Their 12th title in program history. In straight sets here at the Burridge Gymnasium. My goodness. 
what a moment for Thomas Williams. The story of redemption. And for the Windsor Lancers, what an incredible season. The farthest they've ever been in program history, led by one of the up and coming coaches in the OUA, James Gravel, who was honored as Coach of the Year this past week. And they certainly put up a fight against the McMaster Marauders. But it was the champs going back to back, defending their throne against the young upstart, Windsor Lancers. 25 to 14, 25 to 16, and 25 to 21 in the third is how the Marauders got it done. And Dave Preston picks up his 12th OUA title in his career, 25, 21 seasons behind the bench in his final season at the helm behind the McMaster Marauders bench. And what a moment for him and what a moment for these McMaster Marauders. Seven months, 20 regular season games, two playoff games all led to this moment. The biggest stage, the pinnacle of the sport in this province at the university level. And this is a team that is battle tested, a team that's been there before. A team that was undefeated until the final two games of the regular season where they lost in straights to the TME Bowl. They lost in four sets the next couple of games against the UFT Varsity Blues. Team that was doubted. But with that man behind the bench, Dave Preston, there was always great belief and they defended their crown as Dave Preston talks to his team and he has fired up. The 12th title for Dave Preston and the McMaster Marauders. What a moment. And next weekend they'll have the chance to capture their first national championship right here at the Burridge Gymnasium.
the McMaster Marauders. Their 12th Forsyth Cup. Unprecedented. As they celebrate their 2023 Forsyth Cup champs, the McMaster Marauders, who get it done in three sets. 25 to 14, 25 to 16, and 25 to 21 is a moment may be dreaming of all season long, going back to this point. Mateusz Gladarski said plain and simply, he wanted to be a three-time OUA champion, and that's exactly what he did today. Incredible scenes here at the Burridge Gymnasium as they continue to celebrate, but the road does not end here for the McMaster Marauders. They'll celebrate tonight, maybe tomorrow, but then we'll be back to work preparing for the 2023 U Sports National Championships that kick off right here at the Burridge Gymnasium next weekend. Will it be the first ever U Sports National Championship for the McMaster Marauders? We'll just have to wait to find out. But today, it is the Forsyth Cup. Going back to the McMaster Marauders, they defend their crown. As Dave Preston picks up yet another trophy. 12 for him. His final season behind the bench. In his 21st year, yet another trophy for Mr. Dave Preston who is fired up to say the least. Thank you so much for watching McMaster Marauder Volleyball all year long on OUA.TV and today on CBC Sports for the Forsyth Cup. It's been my absolute privilege to call the games alongside Mr. Steve Clark. We'll be back for the U Sports National Championships next weekend for CBC Sports, right here in Hamilton, Ontario. A straight sets win in the Forsyth Cup for the McMaster Marauders, who will pose for a photo that will last a lifetime. Your 2023 Forsyth Cup champs, the McMaster Marauders.